let's get to this because I know a lot of you have an opinion on it. We're going to discuss it. Johnny Depp, well, he's taking the stand in his defamation trial against his ex-wife Amber Heard. Yesterday, he revealed a lot about his abusive childhood and drug use. He did speak about the disturbing text messages he wrote about, quote unquote, Amber's corpse. But maybe the weirdest part of, the, of his testimony was the inside look he gave us involving a daily routine in his marriage. Watch. He would sit me down on the couch and give me a glass of wine and uh, take my boots off, set them to the side. Uh, this kind of routine. And I remember one night I came home from work and, uh, and I think she was on the phone or something. And so I sat down on the couch and I took my boots off. She, and she just said, what did you just do? What did you do? No, 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 that's my job. That's what I do. You don't do that. I do that. Ugh, this is just so uncomfortable, all of it. What did you think about that before we get into different beats? Yeah, that just sounds weird, right? I understand it sounds like every day that people do that, but other than a movie, who does that? And then just the look on Amber Heard's face, I don't mean to be judgmental, but like that deadpan look, I know you're not supposed to show emotion, but none while you're telling that story seems a little weird to me. And that story just in general is weird to me. I, I, maybe some people relate, I definitely do, do not. No, I don't either. What about you, Erica? I don't know if people remember when Johnny Depp and Amber Heard first got together, but I remember doing the story talking about it on morning radio, and the number one sentiment was coming from women who had been in very long-term relationships, like Johnny had been with Vanessa Paradis for 14 years, had two children together, and then all of a sudden it seemed overnight that, and we don't know if it was overnight, but that's the way it appeared, that he was with Amber, and then it got really quirky and so it's not really <laughs> shocking nice I don't think that any of this is really shocking I just remembering what the prevailing sentiment was when they first got together what I found I, I totally agree with you what I found interesting and we had a, a couple of viewers saying how do you even trust him again two sides to every story then there's a the truth but I think what they're alluding to is that he's an actor is it for you difficult you know in the court of public opinion to trust an actor on the stand? Not so much, I mean, it, not really, because when you're talking about things as personal, I don't even know if you have any practice for acting that out. When you're talking about somebody that you've uh, been with in romantic times and also when you've had the stomach flu, you've had this life that's been together, I don't know if you can separate that and then uh, hone your acting skills while you're on the stand. What I saw is a, an unbelievably toxic couple yeah. coming to an apex of just sadness. Right. Her face was sad, Jeff. His face was sad, Erica. You felt uncomfortable listening to it, as we all should, because I don't want to know what's going on in your house. And I also don't want to let us off the hook, like, once that front door shuts, like, we know what anybody's doing in their house. So let's keep it 100% America. Let's, there's, whatever goes on in somebody's house, I can believe it. And, and go into, do your own little research, because there's more to that story that Absolutely. we can't even talk about on the show. So when I say it sounds weird to me, even that little story, yeah. I have other things in my yes. mind that are right. clouding it that makes it really weird. So right. do your own research, figure out what's going on, and it, it just, it's weird. Yes. Great yeah. point. 